Okay, today uh, these are the records I'm going to mend. That one and that one. Two different problems with them. And these are my tools. One piece of um, a 12 inch LP sleeve and as you can see it's that shiny bit that uh, has covered in black. Super glue, a credit card and a piece of paper. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is, is show you what uh, super glue does to a piece of paper. I'll put that there. And when it dries, that piece of super glue and that paper will turn into a piece of, it um, feels like concrete. It's actually fantastic. So what we're going to do is try and put a buckle on the cracks in, this, uh, in these records so that it's permanent. Okay, and that's why we're using black paper because the black will be on the edge of the crack so it will not be obvious that it's been repaired. There's your super glue on the bit of paper. And when that dries, that will be serious stuff. Okay, right. The first one I'm going to do today, and currently one of my favourite records, Somebody's in My Orchard, Nancy Adams, which is causing a bit of a sensation. It's a, a very jazzy, popcorn-y type thing. And the what the problem is with this one, can you see it? That's got a what they call a ring crack. It's come from the edge of the vinyl here, goes round the label and comes out here. So what we're going to try and do, I don't want any glue on this area here, but I don't mind glue down this side here, which will strengthen it. What we're trying to do is just make sure that it doesn't get any worse and uh, continue to be in my uh, DJ box because I wouldn't want to sell a record with a, with a ring crack like that. And I'm going to show you how to repair it. Okay. So first of all I'm going to put a plastic sleeve down so that we don't... Uh... Did you hear that? That's... Did you hear that? I just flattened that off. Can you hear that? So I'm just going to flatten that off with my fingers. Okay, and then, now what I would say is, if you're using super glue, you cannot get it anywhere near a record. And I'll tell you for why. If you get any of this in on the grooves, that's your record done for. I haven't devised a way yet to get super glue out of, uh, out of um, records. And what I'm going to do, if you watch me with my credit card, I'm just going to get a little bit on the end here. And this is perfect for just running round the edge of there. So what I'm doing is I've got super glue on there and I'm just going to run it round the edge. Just pick up a little bit more. These are minuscule bits, you can see the ends there, so I've really got to get down to You see that's a little bit there. It's like spattering it over. Then just get your finger and lick it and just run over there a little bit. And that's not too much of a mess. Where I used to do it before was put dots on there to strengthen it. And it looks horrible. So I'm going to pick a little bit more up and flip it over and you can see the cracks just there and I'm going to run just along the edge here. With a credit card. What I would say is When you've done this with your credit card, don't go and stick it in a machine because you're unlikely to get it back. It'll be stuck in there, probably. Use an old, old credit card, obviously, not, not one that is current. And I find that credit cards are absolutely perfect for this job. So that is nearly invisibly. I've done a little bit of a clumsy job on the other side. But that is 
So I'm not too happy about that bit there, but practice makes perfect. And I'm just going to get one little bit more. That's it. And I'm just doing the very tip of it. And I think if I just go in there. You don't think it's doing it, but I tell you what, it's going the capillary effect of uh, just over that crack, it is going down there. Now all we tried to do with that is just strengthen it. Just give it a little bit longer life because those ring cracks they get worse if you don't as as you start to handle the records. Now what you don't need to do is put any pressure on that until you think it's dry. Now that's pretty flat now, it wasn't before. I'm not going to touch that again, I'm going to slide that uh, onto there. Now this one has been sent to me so I've got to be extra careful with this because this is not my record. Oh there's the crack, just where my finger is. Okay, again most important is to make sure that it's flat when your finger on long there just feel a little bit there I'm just going to press that down and there's a hairline now with that hairline we can see where it is it's just there I'm just going to wet that hairline there so I can find it again quickly it's just got a little bit of a finger mark on it and what we're going to do is just do a very, very fine line of super glue there on this paper here. Be very, very, very careful there. There's the airline crack that is going down now onto the super glue. And what I'm going to do is hold that there. So now what we're going to do, we've held that down for about a minute and a half really. So what we're going to do now is just rock it a little bit and hopefully it will have the effect of lifting the black off it. And there we have. Can you see that? That's what we have and that acts as a, acts as a buckle. Just onto there. Uh, so I think we can take that bit off. There we go. It's just at the edge there, and that's acting as a buckle. And that's a, a real good strengthener. I mean, look, you, you can put a little bit of uh, uh, paint on that and, or whatever. You can just scrape that so that it comes smooth. But there you go. That's the, the buckle that's going to stop that crack getting any worse. And there's your styrene record fix. And it's, remember, it's got a lovely buckle across there now, which... Um, I'm looking for the crack, it's around here somewhere, just there, it's just on the edge there. Okay, job done.